Hey guys, I'm back and um, I'm talking again about grief in the workplace. Um, but today's video, I want to focus on um, an experience that I had um, when 9-11 hit us back in 2001 um, because there was so much grief in that space and in that moment. And um, in honor of that day and what that did to the world, I wanted to share my experience. I was working for uh, an airline. It was a corporate job. Um, and I remember waking up at five o'clock in the morning to the news, to the Twin Towers on fire, and then hearing about what happened in Washington DC and in Pennsylvania. And all I could feel at that moment was fear. My whole being was consumed with fear about what was happening in the world. Um, and then a few hours later, I was at work and a, it, there was a shift and the next fear that came up was what's going to happen to the airline industry what's going to happen to my job um, and to the jobs of so many of my co-workers um, around the globe and on that first day nothing was foreseeable it was business as usual um, we were not in washington dc or in new york or in pennsylvania so our airlines um, were running um, operations as usual but every single day after September 11, the airline industry was losing millions upon millions of dollars a day. And in less than a week's time, we started to see furloughs within the company. And I remember being in my office one day and being so afraid about losing my job and what that was gonna do to me and my family. And I started crying because I really had this weird sense inside of me that I was gonna lose my job and that I was gonna be one of those people. I was working in HR at the time. In fact, it was only in HR two months into my job at the time that 9-11 hit. And I knew that in that moment that if anybody's job was gonna be cut in our department, it would be mine because mine was in kind of a new position that just opened up. Um, I became the trainer, the corporate trainer um, for um, our, our part of the world. Um, I was, um, my title was an HR generalist, but my main focus was gonna be training. And, um, and I knew just being in the airline industry for so many years that that is one of the things that we are gonna cut if we needed to cut expenses. The very next day, um, I was told that if my boss came into my office before 10 o'clock a.m. That meant that um, I was going to be affected by the furlough and to bring my keys and my badge and come to his office. And a few minutes after 10 had passed, so I thought I was safe, but then he came to my office. And in that moment, I already knew what was happening. But I had dealt with my grief a little bit before that. Um, and so I, um, I was okay walking into his office and ready for whatever he was gonna tell me. Fortunately for me, I didn't lose my job in the company. I did lose my job in HR, but I was offered another position um, in another department. And so that for me was relieving, but for other people, it wasn't so great. And so there was a lot of people that were experiencing loss in those days. And um, it caused people to react in very negative and very fearful ways. I remember one of my coworkers had broken out um, with some sort of rash on their arms because they were so stressed out about all of the employees that we were about to let go. And it really put a big strain on her to the point that she was breaking out. So we have physical reactions to loss, um, not just emotional and mental reactions. And so as a company, if you're ever faced with some sort of tragedy that's gonna shut down um, or you're gonna lose tons of employees, um, I ask you to really think about how you're gonna approach that um, and make sure that compassion and um, treating each person as a unique individual is something that you do moving forward. Um, every situation again is unique, but I invite you to get a hold of me if you're ever faced with that sort of situation and um, I can help you through and guide you and your employees through something that is going to affect their lives, uh, their livelihoods in a way that they never thought they would. So um, this is my piece on grief in the workplace um, and also in remembrance of 9-11 and how that affected all of us. Um, I ask you today to just take a moment in your day to remember those that have died, to remember the families that lost their loved ones on that day, but also to acknowledge your own grief because humanity as a whole 
we all lost something that day, whether it was loss of safety, loss of security, loss of job, loss of hope, loss of freedom, loss of life. There was huge loss on that day. So let's honor this day today and remember that and um, be grateful for what we have. Until next time, we'll talk to you guys again.